Hello everyone, welcome to Study Dogma. In this video, we will discuss weekly current affairs of May first week, that is 01 to 07 May 2020. Before starting the session, I will request all of you to please, please, please like, share, and subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time. You can also follow us on Instagram and join the Study Dogma Telegram channel for PDFs and regular general awareness quiz sessions. Try to add yourself and participate more and more to check your knowledge and update yourself. So let's start today's session. Which state government has launched Jeevan Amrit Yojana to boost immune system of people to fight coronavirus right answer is madhya pradesh now madhya pradesh recently launched unified smart cards for a driving license and vehicle registration being the first state in the country to do so and madhya pradesh also launched the mandu festival at 2019 and remember govinda has been appointed as the brand ambassador of madhya pradesh now Chhattisgarh has launched India's first garbage cafe in Ambikapur and recently Chhattisgarh also launched a donations on wheels campaign where ration packets are being delivered at the doorstep of people in need. Now Kerala, now Kerala launched break the chain campaign to maintain social distance thus helping in breaking the corona chain. Kerala also launched SheePad scheme as an awareness program on menstrual hygiene. Which day has been observed as International Labor Day? Right answer is 1st May. Now 30th April is observed as International Jazz Day to create awareness around the world of the virtues of jazz as a force of place unity and cooperation among people it was hosted online by harpik hancock who is an american pianist and is the unesco's goodwill ambassador now india celebrated 30th april as ayushman bharat divas which promotes affordable medical facilities in remote areas of the country based on the socio-economic caste census database who has been appointed as interim MD and CEO of PNB Housing? Right answer is Neeraj Vyas. Now Ajay Bisaria has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Canada. Gopal Bagle has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka. Vinay Mohan Quatra has been appointed as High Commissioner to Nepal. Whereas Riva Ganguly Das has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh. Who has been named among world's top 20 leaders according to the Medicine Maker Power List 2020? Right answer is Kiran Majumdar Shaw. And she is the chairperson and managing director of Bayakan Limited. Now, Gita Gopinath appointed as Chief Economist of IMF. Anshula Kant has been appointed as Chief Financial Officer and Managing Director of World Bank. Kali Puri recently awarded with India's Most Powerful Woman in Media, whereas Angela Merkel is German Chancellor and recently she topped Forbes list of 100 most powerful women in the world. Which state government has launched Ambare Anganwadi to help children during lockdown? Right answer is Gujarat. And recently Gujarat has launched Bhali Dikri Yojana in favor of improving girls birth ratio. Who has been appointed as India's next ambassador to the United Nations? Right answer is T.S. Tirumurthy. Now, 
Barry O. Farrell is the Australian High Commissioner to India. Deepak Mittal has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Qatar. Piyush Srivastava has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Bahrain. Whereas Raj Lakshmi Singh Dev has been appointed as a President of a Rowing Federation of India. Who has been honored by American Academy of Arts and Science for distinguished work in the field of science? Right answer is Shobana Narasimhan. Now, Shobana Narasimhan is a professor from the theoretical science unit at the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research. She has been elected as an international honorary member to the American Academy of Arts and Science. She has done remarkable work on the national design of nanomaterials, determining the effect of lowering of dimensionality and reduction of size on the properties of material. Now, Thalapil Pradeep is a professor from IIT Madras and selected for the Nikkei Asia Prize 2020 in the field of science and technology for his pioneering work in nanotechnology based water purification. Other individuals who are been selected in that Nikkei Asia Prize 2020 are Ram Prasad Kadeli for culture and community and he is from Nepal and Anthony Tan and Tan Hui Ling from Malaysia in the field of economic and business innovation. And recently, Manipuri doctor Thangjam Dhabali Singh was conferred Order of Rising Sun Award by Japan for promoting a better understand of Japan in India and deepening ties between the two countries. Who has launched ebook Professor B. B. Lal India Rediscovered? Right answer is Prahlad Singh Patel. Now, Union Home Minister Amit Shah recently released a book Karma Yodha Granth written on the life of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. And Amit Shah also launched the book Listening, Learning and Leading based on Vinka Naidu's two years as Vice President of India. And Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi released a book Digital Nation written by N. Chandrasekharan and Rupa Purushottaman. Now, recently, Venkaya Naidu was conferred with highest civilian honor of Comoros, the Order of Green Crescent by Comoros President Azoli Asomoni. And the capital of Comoros is Moroni and currency is Franc. And Venkaya Naidu became the first Indian to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy from the University of Peace in the Costa Rican capital of San Jose for his contribution to the rule of law, democracy and sustainable development in India. Who has been appointed Secretary to the Ministry of MSME? Right answer is Arvind Kumar Sharma. Now, Giridhar Aramane has taken over the charge as Secretary to the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. And remember, present MSME and Road Transport and Highways Minister is Nitin Gadgari and his constituency is Nagpur, Maharashtra. And Sanjay Kotari has been appointed as Central Vigilance Commissioner. Now, recently, Rajiv Gauba was appointed as Cabinet Secretary for a period of two years, whereas Bimal Julka is a Chief Information Commissioner of India. Which research and development organization has developed Kisan Sabha app? Right answer is CSIR CRRI. And CSIR CRRI stands for Council of Scientific and Industrial Research 
सेंट्रल रोड रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट नाउ द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ किसान सभा एप इज टू प्रोवाइड द मोस्ट इकोनॉमिकल एज वेल एज टाइमली लॉजिस्टिक्स हेल्प टू द फार्मर्स इट विल हेल्प फार्मर्स बाई टाइमली डिलीवरी ऑफ देयर प्रोड्यूस एट बेस्ट पॉसिबल प्राइसेस नेम द साउथ अफ्रीकन वेटरन एंटी एपथाइड एक्टिविस्ट हु रिसेंटली पास अवे राइट आंसर इज डेनिस गोल्डबर्ग नाउ रॉबर्ट मुगबे वॉज द फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ जिम्बाबे एंड केन शिमोरा वॉज अ फेमस जैपनीज कॉमेडियन हु पास अवे रिसेंटली Which day has been observed as World Tuna Day? Right answer is second May. According to a report titled "The Global Report on Internal Displacement," that is GREAT 2020, from IDMC, five million people in India were displaced in 2019 due to natural disasters. Now, question is, where is the headquarter of IDMC? Right answer is Geneva, Switzerland. Which country's oil price has recently recorded below zero dollars for the first time? Right answer is United States. Which institute has developed microwave sterilizer named as Atulya? Right answer is Defence Institute of Advanced Technology. now it will disintegrate the covid-19 virus with the help of differential heating in the range of 56 to 60 degree celsius and recently the council of scientific and industrial research that is csir's scientific instruments organization chandigarh has developed an electrostatic disinfection machine now this machine is very much effective in the disinfection and sanitization in order to fight with covid-19 pandemic who has been appointed as advisor of google pay india right answer is shikha sharma now julie sweet is the ceo of accenture sanjeev chadda has been appointed as managing director and ceo of bank of baroda recently vinay dubey has been appointed as ceo of goer whereas karan bajwa has been appointed as the head of google cloud in india which bank has launched vikas abhaya loan scheme to provide relief to msme borrowers right answer is karnataka vikas gramin bank now this loan will be for the existing msme customers and under this scheme a maximum loan of up to rupees 1 lakh will be provided and no collateral security is emphasized and is repayable within 36 months and recently karur vyasa bank launched india's first prepaid card enkasu now the customers buying this card can make tap and go payments and these cards can be accepted online as well as offline and recently indusin bank topped the list of highest increase in brand value who represented india in the g20 digital economy ministers virtual summit held under the presidency of saudi arabia right answer is ravi shankar prasad and he is the union law and justice minister and his constituency is patna sahib bihar name the former indian football captain who passed away recently right answer is chuni goswami now he was the captain of indian football team that won the 1962 asian games gold medal which countries scientists have discovered a carnivorous swimming dinosaur named spinosaurus aegyptiacus at the kame kame region of the moroccan sahara in north africa right answer is united states who has won the 
2020 UNESCO Guillermo Keno World Press Freedom Prize. Right answer is Jinet Bedoa Lima. And she is a Colombian investigative journalist. Now comment in the comment box about other four options whom are recently awarded for what? Former World Snooker Champion Peter Edburn announced retirement from professional snooker. He belongs to which country? Right answer is United Kingdom. Which country will launch its first Arctica M satellite for monitoring the Arctic climate and environment this year? Right answer is Russia. Which city has been declared as the new headquarter for the IFSC authority? Right answer is Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Name the national e-commerce marketplace recently launched by Confederation of All India Traders, that is CAIT. Right answer is Bharat Market. Now this marketplace will be for all retail traders nationwide and aims to integrate 95% of retail traders on board the retail platform. And recently, Flipkart launched Samarth campaign to empower Indian artisans, weavers and craftsmen. And TikTok has launched Matkar Forward campaign to raise awareness among the digital community around creation and sharing of misinformation. Now, Facebook has launched a new consumer marketing campaign called More Together to showcase how people across the country can do more together by harnessing the power of their connections on the platform. And Facebook also partners with Bollywood for I for India fundraiser concert. Which 105 year old Mumbai based Cooperative Bank's license has been cancelled by Reserve Bank of India. Right answer is the CKP Cooperative Bank Limited. Now, the license of the CKP Cooperative Bank Limited to carry on banking business has been cancelled by the Reserve Bank of India due to the unstable financial position of the bank. And recently, RBI has also cancelled the license of Mapusa Cooperative Bank based in Goa. Which day has been observed as World Asthma Day with the theme Enough Asthma Deaths? Right answer is 5th May. The day spread awareness about asthma disease and care around the world. It is annually organized by the Global Initiative for Asthma, that is GINA. Now, World Health Organization has marked 5th May as World Hand Hygiene Day. The theme of the campaign is Save Lives, Clean Your Hands. And the goal of the campaign is to recognize the hand washing is one of the most effective actions you can take to reduce the spread of pathogens and prevent infections including the COVID-19 virus. And besides, 5th May has also been observed as International Day of the Midwife and 2020 theme is Celebrate, Demonstrate, Mobilize, Unite, Our Time is Now. Now, the World Health Organization has dedicated the year 2020 as Year of Nurse and Midwife to commemorate the 200th birth anniversary of nursing pioneer Florence Nightingale. And the headquarter of World Health Organization is in Geneva, Switzerland and the president is Tedros Adhanom. Federation International D Natation that is FINA has postponed 2021 World Aquatics Championships to May 2022. Now, where it is scheduled to be held? Right answer is Fukuoka, Japan. Now, FINA is the swimming world governing body and Doha will host the event in 2023. And the 2019 World Aquatics Championships was hosted by Guangzhou 
and Budapest jointly. Name the Indian journalist who won the Pulitzer Prize 2020 in the field of feature photography. Right answer is option number A, B, and C. That is Dar Yashin, Mukhtar Khan, and Channi Anand. Now, recently, Ravish Kumar won the Raman Maxese Award 2019 for harnessing journalism to give voice to voiceless. He was also awarded with Gauri Lankesh Award for journalism. Which state government has launched COVID Pharma mobile app to trace people buying medicines for fever and cold? Right answer is Andhra Pradesh. Name the Indian cricketer who has been banned by ICC from all forms of cricket for a period of two years for breaching ICC anti-corruption court charges. Right answer is Deepak Agarwal. Now recently Shakib Al Hasan from Bangladesh and Umar Akmal from Pakistan both banned for corruption charges. And recently. Indian sprinter Nirmala Sharon and weightlifter Seema has been banned for four years by NADA for doping charges. Who has been appointed as new chief of public enterprise selection board that is PSEB for a period of three years? Right answer is Mr. Rajiv Kumar. Now Krishna Mohan Prasad has been appointed as Principal Chief Commissioner of Income Tax, whereas Suresh Chandra Sharma has been appointed as Chairman of National Medical Commission. What is the amount did Asian Development Bank approve to support Maharashtra for power sector? Right answer is a three forty six million dollar. Now. $250 million has been approved by ADB to India for energy efficiency services. ADB has approved $190 million to Rajasthan for road project. ADB has approved $750 million to India for railway electrification and $926 million has been approved by ADB for Mumbai Metro. According to rating agency Crisil, what will be India's GDP growth rate for financial year 21 compared to previous predictions at 3.5%? Right answer is 1.8%. National award winner Rishi Kapoor passed away. He was a renowned what? So, he was a renowned actor. Name the former cricketer who has been appointed as head coach of USA national cricket team. Right answer is J. Arun Kumar. Now, Robin Singh appointed as director of cricket of UAE. Sunil Joshi is chairman of selection committee of BCCI. And recently, Kumar Sangakara becomes first non-British president of Marylebone Cricket Club, whereas G.S. Lakshmi became the first female to be appointed to ICC International Panel of Match Referee. Who has been selected for the Nikkei Asia Prize 2020? Right answer is Thalapil Pradeep. Now, IIT Madras Professor Mr. Thalapil Pradeep has been selected for the Nikkei Asia Prize 2020 in the field of science and technology. He will be awarded for his pioneering work in nanotechnology based water purification. Now the Nikkei Asia Prize recognizes those individuals who have contributed to the region's sustainable development and to the creation of a better future of Asia. The prize is conferred in science and technology, culture and community, and economic and business innovation. Now, Ram Prasad Kadel from Nepal 
has been awarded in culture and community field whereas anthony tan and tan v ling has been awarded in economic and business innovation field and both belongs to malaysia fifa has launched hashtag we will win campaign to pay tribute to health workers who ensure the society continues to function among covid 19 now question is who is the president of fifa right answer is kiani infantino now fifa has launched a campaign called hashtag we will win and tribute a special video to health workers and other professionals who ensure the society continues to function and remember fifa's headquarter is in zurich switzerland now thomas batch he is the president of international olympic committee headquartered in lusane switzerland and vladimir lisin is the president of international shooting sport federation which is headquartered in munich germany now thomas wickert is the president of international table tennis federation which is headquartered at lusane switzerland whereas sashank manohar is the president of icc which is headquartered in dubai ua which state government has given maximum jobs under manrega amid nationwide lockdown right answer is chatisgarh now mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act which is a social security scheme that attempts to provide employment and livelihood to rural laborers in the country now madhya pradesh recently launched jeevan amrit yojana to boost immune system of people to fight corona virus who has been conferred order of rising sun award by japan right answer is dr thangjam dhabali singh and he is from manipur now dr thangjam dhabali singh was awarded for promoting a better understand of japan in india and deepening ties between the two countries now this award is conferred on persons with achievements in international relations promotion of japanese culture environmental preservation welfare or achievements in their fields and recently drdo chairman G Satish Reddy was awarded honorary fellowship by UK's Royal Aeronautical Society now Ravish Kumar a senior journalist won the Raman Magsese award 2019 for harnessing journalism to give voice to voiceless he is also awarded with Gauri Lankesh award for journalism and recently Jadav Paing who is also known as forest man of india has been awarded with swami vivekanand karma yogi award he was also honored with 128 commonwealth points of lights award whereas chandi prasad bhat was awarded the indira gandhi award for national integration for his work on environment freedom fighter and padma shri awardee Hema Varali passed away at the age of 101. She belongs to which state? Right answer is Assam. Who has launched a multimedia guide on COVID-19 disease named COVID Katha? Right answer is Dr. Harsh Vardhan, and he is the Union Health Minister of India. And this guide provides consolidated and authentic information on the global crisis to the masses in an interesting and interactive mode now ramesh pokhrial nishank recently launched a web portal yukti which stands for young india combating covid 19 with knowledge technology and innovation 
to monitor and records the efforts and initiatives of students and teachers and recently union finance minister nirmala sitaraman participated in the second extraordinary g20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting under saudi arabian presidency to discuss the impact of covid-19 on the global economy and coordinate efforts in response to the global challenge name the customer engagement technology provider which has launched video kyc engagement platform for banking and finance sector right answer is mao though the platform will eliminate the business requirement of physical kyc prime minister narendra modi participated in the virtual nam that is non alignment prime minister narendra modi participated in the virtual nam summit that is non aligned movement summit whose theme is united against covid 19 now the question is which country hosted nam summit right answer is azerbaijan and the chairman is azerbaijan president ilham aliyev now spain hosted the 2019 cop 25 climate summit Russia will host 2020 BRICS summit and recently Bangladesh hosted the first phase of Vishwa Ijtema the second largest congregation of the muslim community and Sri Lanka hosted 2019 biennial commonwealth law ministers conference Indian discus thrower Sandeep Kumari has been banned by World Anti Doping Agency that is WADA for a period of 4 years now where is the headquarters of WADA right answer is Montreal and recently WADA also banned Russia from 2021 Olympics and all international sports for 4 years who has launched the saras collection on the government e marketplace portal right answer is narendra singh tomar it has been launched to provide the self help groups in rural areas with market access to central as well as state government buyers name the egyptian tennis player who has been banned for lifetime by the tennis integrity unit that is tiu from professional tennis for match fixing and corruption charges right answer is yusuf hosam now recently former peru football federation manuel burga and argentina officials eduardo de luca and jose luis mezner have been banned by fifa and pakistan cricket board recently banned umar akmal for corruption charges which indian company has signed an agreement with trafigura limited singapore to acquire 50% stake in riker based private limited that is rbpl right answer is polycap india limited which indian institute is to collaborate with hong kong based new frontier capital management financial firm to establish a global network for ventures as well as to create a venture ecosystem right answer is iit hyderabad and iit gandhinagar iit kharagpur and national council of science museum that is ncsm have joined hands to develop gandhipedia which operation has been launched by indian navy as a part of the nation's efforts to bring back indian citizens from abroad right answer is samudra setu now three indian naval ships sailed to bring back indian citizens stranded in maldives and ua Now Arogya Setu app is a COVID-19 tracking mobile application 
developed by the National Informatics Center. It is the upgraded version of Corona Kavach, which helps in identifying COVID-19 suspects and gives information about COVID-19 patients within six feet radius. The app works on Bluetooth technology. Who has taken over the command of the Army Training Command, that is RTRAC? Right answer is Lieutenant General Raj Shukla. Now, Admiral Karambir Singh is 24th Navy Chief. General Manoj Mukund Narwane is 28th Chief of Army Staff. Air Chief Marshal RKS Badoria is 26th Chief of Air Staff. And General Bipin Rawat has been recently appointed as Chief of Defense Staff. And the age for retirement from CDS fixed to 65 years. Who has been awarded Young Career Award in Nanoscience and Technology for the year 2020? Right answer is Saurabh Lodha. Now, Vaniza Rupani is an Indian origin and she has been honored of naming NASA's first helicopter as Ingenuity. And recently, Shobana Narsimhan has been elected as an international honorary member to the American Academy of Arts and Science. She has done a remarkable work on the national design of nanomaterials, determining the effect of lowering of dimensionality and reduction of size on the properties of material and recently dr niti kumar a senior scientist from division of molecular parasitology and immunology lucknow has received serb women excellence award national gallery of modern art has presented a virtual program NGMA K Sangra Se to dedicate 159th birth anniversary of Gurudev Ravindranath Thakur. Now, what is the theme of the program? Right answer is artist by artist. Now, the World Wetland Day 2020's theme was wetlands and biodiversity. I am and I will is the theme of World Cancer Day 2020. An equal world is an enabled world is the theme of International Women's Day 2020. And sustaining all life on earth is the theme of World Wildlife Day 2020. Badminton World Championships 2020 postponed to November 2021. When this championship will take place. Now, this championship will take place at Huelva, Spain. Now, Doha will host 2022 FIFA World Cup. Tokyo will host 2021 Summer Olympics. Hangzhou will host 2022 Asian Games. And Paris will host 2024 Summer Olympics. Which organization has developed ultraviolet disinfection tower that is UV blaster to achieve rapid and mechanical free disinfection of high infection prone areas. Right answer is DRDO. Which state government has launched a WhatsApp number 87945345501 for people to launch complaints about corruption? Right answer is Tripura. Now, Manipur has recently set up food bank for COVID-19 and Mizoram hosted Chapcharkut festival recently and Assam's Chief Minister Sarvananda Sonowal was awarded Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Award 2020 for politics. Which state has launched exit app for people from other states who are stuck in West Bengal view lockdown and desires to return to their native place. Right answer is West Bengal. Now the exit app can be accessed by the stranded people from the 
West Bengal government's Egie Bangla website and the chief minister of West Bengal is Mamta Banerjee and governor is Jagdeep Dhankar who has been nominated as US representative to World Bank's lending arm IBRD right answer is Ashok Michael now the former chief justice of india ranjan gogoi has recently elected as new rajya sabha member and alok sharma appointed as cop 26 president and india's former solicitor general and senior advocate harish salve has been appointed as queen's counsel for the courts of england and wales and recently anita anand became canada's first hindu cabinet minister who has been appointed as md and ceo of max bopa health insurance right answer is krishnan ramachandra which state government police has launched sankalp scheme to provide 24 hour help to the elderly right answer is madhya pradesh what is india's rank in scientific publication according to a survey conducted by national science and technology management information system that is nstmis right answer is india ranked third now india ranked 51st in the global democracy index which is topped by norway india ranked fifth in the global climate risk index 2020 which is topped by japan india ranked 129th in the human development index 2019 topped by norway and india ranked 9th in the climate change performance index 2019 which was topped by sweden who has addressed the bamboo conclave held via video conferencing right answer is Jitendra Singh So here we will end today's session if you like the session then please 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 like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time you can also join the telegram group of study dogma and follow us on instagram pages for regular updates link given in the description column thank you very much which bank has released a song hum haar nahi manenge composed by air rahman to support national lockdown right answer is hdfc bank so hdfc bank has released a song hum haar nahi manenge to support the ongoing lockdown and covid 19 pandemic the lyrics of the song has been written by prasoon joshi and music composed by air rahman hdfc bank will contribute 500 rupees each time the song is shared via social media towards the pm cares fund and recently walmart india launched co branded credit card in partnership with hdfc bank and remember hdfc bank headquartered in mumbai and aditya puri is the md ceo of hdfc bank now icici bank recently launched banking services on whatsapp and voice banking services on amazon alexa and google assistant icici bank also launched fd health scheme who has been honored of naming nasa's first helicopter as ingenuity right answer is vaniza rupani now vaniza rupani is a 17 year old indian origin girl who submitted her essay into nasa's name the robot contest now in march 2020 nasa announced that its next rover to mars would be named as perseverance and sucheta satish an indian origin girl recently won child prodigy award for singing in 120 languages 
and recently rajesh chaplot honored with the highest civilian award of uganda for his excellence in the field of business and commerce social service and for fostering better india uganda ties now recently ayushi dholakia has won the title of miss teen international 2019 and geeta sen an indian feminist scholar won the prestigious dan david prize 2020 for her work in the fields of women rights product reproductive and sexual health and poverty eradication which day is observed as international firefighters day right answer is 4th may now this day is celebrated since 1999 to recognize and honor the sacrifices that firefighters make to ensure that their communities and environment are as safe as possible now 2nd may is observed as world tuna day globally it is established by the united nations to raise awareness about the importance of tuna fish name the judicial member lokpal of india who recently passed away right answer is justice ak tripathi and kannada poet padma shri awardi k s nisar ahmed who was popularly known as nitya utsava kavi has recently passed away and recently r v smith also passed away he was an eminent historian now Chuni Goswami was the former Indian football captain and Rudratej Singh was BMW India CEO who passed away recently who was awarded international men's ODI player of the year according to annual New Zealand cricket award right answer is Ken Williamson and Ross Taylor awarded international men's T20 player of the year now suzy bates awarded international women's odi player and sophie devin awarded international women's 2020 player of the year and recently ben stokes won the sir garfield sowers trophy for the icc player of the year which state union territory has become india's first state to provide free insurance cover premium to its people under mahatma jyotiba phule jan arogya yojana right answer is maharashtra under this yojana an announcement has been made and a state will provide free health treatment to 100% population of the state now maharashtra government recently renamed Aurangabad Airport to Chhatrapati Shambhaji Maharaj Airport and Mumbai Central Railway Station to Nana Shankar Shet Terminus and recently Mumbai Central becomes India's first eat right station with four star rating by Food Safety and Standards Authority of India that is FSSAI now Chandigarh launched CHT Covid mobile app and himachal pradesh recently launched shahari rozgar guarantee yojana that will provide 120 days of employment to those living in urban areas name the product from kashmir which has got geographical indication tag recently that is gi tag so right answer is kashmir's saffron and recently manipur's black rice Gorakhpur's terracotta, Kovilpatti's kadalai mittai, and Darjeeling's green and white tea has given GI tag. Which country has restricted the use of saliva and sweat to shine cricket ball under COVID-19 guidelines? Right answer is Australia. And Sri Lanka has become the first South Asian nation to criminalize match fixing. Now. ICC has lifted ban on Zimbabwe and Nepal. 
and recently the united states become the 105th member of icc and j arun kumar has been appointed usa men's head coach for a period of 2 years so here we will end today's session if you like the session then please 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 like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all notifications on time you can also join the telegram group of study dogma and follow us on instagram pages for regular updates link given in the description column thank you very much